Hey everybody and welcome to this special on the sun entering Virgo on the 17th of September to the 16th of October. So um, first I'm going to talk about the practical, spiritual, esoteric and astrological um, meanings of the sun in Virgo. So practically speaking, this is a good time for organising and streamlining your daily routines, you know, getting rid of um, you know, habits that you are getting in the way of, say, maybe your wellness and stuff like that and just, um, you know, making your life a bit more structured. Virgo. Those uh, meticulous energy encourages us to take attention to detail and focus on being more efficient, doing tasks that require precision and accuracy and careful planning. Also long term work um, is favourable now. From a spiritual, esoteric perspective, it invites us to develop self-improvement and self-care. Virgo is associated with purification and healing, making this a potent energy for engaging in practices that nurture your mind, body and soul. Take advantage of this period to establish healthy habits, engage in self-reflection and work and personal growth. Astrologically, the Sun's transit through Virgo highlights the themes of practicality, analysis and discernment. This is a time when you may find yourself craving order and organisation in all aspects of your life. Use this energy to assess and refine your goals, prioritise tasks and make practical decisions that align with your long-term objectives. During this period, paying attention to details and taking a systematic approach to any projects or tasks you undertake is recommended. Virgo's analytical nature will guide you in identifying areas that require improvement and finding practical solutions to challenges. Additionally, the energy of the sun in Virgo supports a mindful and health conscious lifestyle. So yeah, focusing on self-care practices um, such as clean eating, maybe a fast or intermittent fasting or anything like that, but only if you know you can safely do those types of um, practices. Exercise and mindfulness meditation can also go down good as well over the next month. So embrace activities that promote physical and mental well-being and will contribute positively to your overall health and vitality. So now I'm going to talk about the worldly materialistic meanings and the political and social impact of the Sun in Virgo. So as I said in astrology Virgo is associated with practicality, attention to detail and the desire for efficiency. When the sun is in Virgo, there's an emphasis on organising your work and daily routines, striving for perfection and focus on being practical. On a worldly level, the sun in Virgo wants us to focus on environmental issues. It encourages us and society to pay attention to our physical well-being, engage in sustainable practices and make efforts towards maintaining a clean and healthy living environment and global sort of community environment. Environment as well. So this can manifest through activities such as adopting eco-friendly habits, supporting organic farming or advocating for healthcare reforms. The political impact of the transit in Sunny Virgo uh, centres around policies and negotiation that promote efficiency, productivity and accountability, encourages leaders to focus on practical solutions and implement measures that improve the functioning of government agencies and public services. This could involve restructuring and bureaucratic processes, implementing cross-effective strategies or prioritising evidence-based decision-making. Socially, when the sun's in Virgo, it can heighten the emphasis on personal development and attention to detail with interpersonal relationships. People may feel more compelled to analyse their own behaviour and engage in self-reflection, leading to a greater desire for self-improvement and personal growth. This can result in people seeking opportunities for education, skill building and adopting healthier life choices. Additionally, the Sun in Virgo uh, may bring attention to social issues that 
revolve around inequality, fairness and justice. It encourages society to address systematic problems and work towards creating a more equal society. This could involve advocating for equal access to education and healthcare, supporting marginalised communities or promoting diversity and inclusion in all aspects of life. Economically, the transit in Sun in Virgo prompts a focus on efficiency, resource management and sustainability. Businesses and individuals may be more inclined to adopt practices that minimise waste, reduce carbon footprint and promote responsibility consumption. This can lead to the rise of eco-conscious industries, increased investment in renewable energy sources and a shift towards ethical business practices. Now I'm going to talk about the saving degrees. When the sun goes into Virgo, it's in the first degree of Virgo, which um, rules the duodendum in the human body and has the saving symbol of in the portrait, the best of man's traits are idealised. So the first degree of Virgo rules the duodendum, which is an important part of the human digestive system. Furthermore, the saving degree associated with the first degree of Virgo adds another layer of interpretation. So yeah, the saving symbol for the first degree of Virgo is in a portrait, the best of human traits are idealised. This highlights and idealises the positive qualities of an individual. Enchanting the ability to have a practical and analytical mindset, this energy encourages us to be more productive and have a stronger work ethic. It also promotes a sense of service to others and the desire for perfection. On the flip side, the negative effects of this saving degree can include being obsessive about perfection and of really critical in nature, focusing too much on the minor details and lose sight of the bigger picture. Um, also, this can lead to feelings of stress or being overwhelmed. It's important for people with displacement to find balance and not get caught up in self-criticism or unrealistic expectations. It's up to people to use this energy in a positive way to achieve results. The focus and service to others can also be channeled into helping those in need or positively impacting the world. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the aspects that are made when the sun um, enters Virgo and when um, aspects are taking place when the planet enters into a, a new sign, it said that these aspects will flavour the whole of the time the um, planet's in that sign. So yeah, so when the sun makes a trine to Uranus, this aspect is all about embracing change and unexpected surprises. It's like a cosmic high five between the sun and Uranus, bringing fresh energy and the sprinkle of excitement to your life. So get ready to think outside the box and embrace some major breakthroughs, my friend. Next is the sun opposition Neptune. Now this one can be a bit tricky. It's like a tug of war between the Sun and Neptune, creating a bit of confusion and foggy vibes. You might feel unsure about your direction or have some unrealistic expectations during this time. Just remember to stay grounded and trust your intuition. The next aspect, transit, is the Sun making a trine to Pluto. So it gives us transformation, a chance to do that and to become more empowered or less controlling if that's what you need to do. It's like the universe is giving you a power boost to crush your goals and make some major moves. So, you know, embrace it in the boss mode because success can come knocking at your door if you're prepared to work um, long and hard for it. Last but not least, we've got the sun making the queen crutch to the moon's north node. So this brings a sense of adjustment and fine tuning to our paths right now. It's like we're being nudged to make some necessary tweaks and align ourselves with our true purpose by changing our um, daily routine, looking after our overall health from eating, psychological, emotional, spiritual health, and you know, um, sort of like letting go of um, toxic habits as well, and nurturing ourselves with real self love and trying to understand ourselves and you know, just getting to the bottom of 
what we really want to do with our lives and I know that like um, money and all resources and all the rest get into the way but how could you try working slowly towards a hobby or a new career that you really want to go for and try as well to enjoy the more simple things in life and kind of be grateful for what you have now this is how we attract new things into our life with that and hard work of course so yeah okay so now i'm going to talk about the karmic lessons karma and past life implications of the sun um, in virgo as already mentioned during this period this energy of the sun in virgo encourages us to pay attention to details and embrace a more practical aware approach towards life so karmic lessons may manifest as opportunities for personal growth through um, refining developing your skills improving them as well as your work effort and adopting a structured routine it's an ideal time to analyze your daily habits and make conscious efforts to eliminate any unhealthy patterns that may be stunting stopping your progress so from a past life perspective when the sun's in virgo this can um, mean that skills that you carried over from lifetimes where you were more analytical in your thinking and into problem solving and knew how to pay more attention to detail then um, these lifetimes may come to the forefront of your subconscious right now and you may discover inner traits that you never knew you had as uh, this period prevents the opportunity to apply these past life abilities to your present life circumstances focusing on self-improvement by offering assistance organizing events or taking responsibilities that contribute positively to um, the community around you it's time to embrace humility and um, being down to earth and helping others and find fulfillment in the act of service or kindness and helping others so on a deeper level the sun in Virgo may bring karmic lessons or dreams related to health and well-being that urge you to pay attention to your physical, mental and spiritual and psychological well-being. Um, it reminds us the importance of self-care, maintaining a balanced lifestyle and adopting healthier habits that support our overall vitality. Now I'm going to talk about what um, the Sun in Virgo um, means for committed relationships and hookups. So in committed relationships, people may become more focused on organisation and improvement, um, leading to partners to analyse their relationship with more of a critical eye, seeking ways to enhance their communication and deepen their intimacy and emotional connection. It encourages a sense of responsibility and dedication, compelling individuals to work through challenges. On the positive side, um, the transit in Sunny Virgo can ignite a desire for growth and self-improvement within committed relationships. Couples may find themselves engaging in meaningful conversations about their future goals and aspirations and taking practical steps to achieve them, but also negatively because um, um, this energy can make us more nitpicky and focus excessively on flaws, which can strain the relationship if not managed properly. Partners may become overly critical of each other, leading to feelings of resentment or dissatisfaction or ending for some of you um, so you know the positive is is that you can become more efficient in your communication and in you know other areas of your life day at night your love life uh, managing household tasks and responsibilities and this um, you know working in synergy and unison and uh, without being codependent can lead to a greater sense of harmony and mutual support so in terms of hookup relationships, um, this can bring caution and practicality again. People may approach casual encounters with more um, judgment and more of a discerning eye, seeking connections that align with their authentic values and long-term goals because this transit encourages us to prioritise quality over quantity, focusing on meaningful experiences rather than fleeting um, encounters. So again, all the risks, what I said about um, 
create relationships, you know, you can be arguing because people just um, bringing out each, not bringing out, pointing out each other's um, flaws and stuff. So it's crucial during this time to practice patience and understanding and allowing for open and honest communication to address any issues that come up, whether you're in a committed um, relationship or hookup. Now I'm going to talk about how the Sun in Virgo affects career, spiritual, personal and educational development. So in terms of career development, this period offers an excellent opportunity for career growth. The focus is on organisation and efficiency, making it an ideal time to streamline work processes and improve productivity. Paying attention to the smallest details will help you excel in your professional plans and gain recognition. You may find yourself being more methodical and precise in your approach to tasks, which can lead to increased success and advancement in your career. In terms of spiritual development, you can become more self-reflective, so it's a good time for spiritual growth as well, if that's what you're into. Virgo's energy is closely aligned with um, purification, healing and self-improvement, um, urging us to analyse our thoughts and actions. This period offers an opportunity to deepen your connection with your inner self, explore new spiritual practices or embark on a journey of self-discovery. In terms of personal development, it's a time to focus on self-care, setting goals and working towards becoming the best version of yourself. Virgos, you know, meticulousness and attention to detail and carefulness and thoroughness, you know, the old saying, if you're going to do a job, do it to the best of your ability. Um, so yeah, this energy can help you identify areas where you can make positive changes in your life. This this period is ideal for developing new habits, enhancing your skills or pursuing hobbies that bring you joy and fulfilment. In terms of educational development, this period favours diligent studying, research and systematically acquiring knowledge. Virgo's analytical nature can help you easily grasp complex concepts and details. It is a great time to organise your study materials, create effective study plans and enhance your learning strategies. Use this period to excel in your educational pursuits, whether it be through improving grades, gaining new certifications or expanding your knowledge base. Um, now I'm going to talk about what's the best things for students, professionals and entrepreneurs to do when this energy is happening. For students, this is the ideal time to focus on organisation and setting clear goals, adopting a systematic approach to studying and uh, managing your time can greatly enhance your productivity. Consider creating detailed study schedules, breaking tasks into manageable chunks and using organisational tools like planners or digital apps to stay on track. Additionally, Virgo's attention to data can greatly benefit students in proofreading their assignments and in solving accuracy in their work. Take advantage of this time to refine your study habits and improve your academic performance. Professionals can take advantage of Virgo's nature by you know, refining their skills, improving efficiency and paying attention to the finer details of their work. This is a good time to review projects, streamline processes and focus on quality control. Invest in professional development courses or workshops that align with your field of expertise to enhance your knowledge and capabilities. Virgo's analytical energy can support you in overcoming challenges and achieve success in your career. Entrepreneurs can use this energy to focus on fine-tuning their business operations and strategies, implementing efficient systems and processes that promote productivity and organisation, conducting a thorough analysis of their products or services, um, websites, blogs um, and other strategies to ensure that they meet high standards of quality. This is a good energy for um, to use for things such as promoting selling market research and identifying areas for improvement or expansion. Use Virgo's practicality to upgrade your business plans and set achievable goals. Additionally, pay attention when it comes to financial matters such as budgeting and bookkeeping to maintain stability and growth in your um, ventures. So in summary, the transiting sun in Virgo brings a variety of positives. 
it illuminates our attention to detail and analytical abilities, making it easier to organize and strategize. This energy promotes efficient problem solving and boosts productivity. Virgo's practical nature also empowers us to focus on health and self-care, bringing vitality to our daily routines. On the negative side, on the flip side, you know, Virgo's energy is associated with perfectionist tendencies. This can lead to overthinking or excessive criticism of yourself and others. So it's important to strike a balance and avoid getting caught up in perfectionism as it can stunt your progress and create unnecessary stress. The best use of transiting Sun in Virgo is to use its energy for practical improvement, whatever that means to you. Um, you know, using this um, vibration to focus on organizing your tasks, your daily routine, streamlining, reducing your processes getting new skills, giving back to others, being more self-aware and working diligently towards your goals. Pay attention to the details and use your analytical skills to identify areas of improvement in various aspects of your life. Embrace the nurturing nature of Virgo by prioritizing self-care, making healthier choices across all your you know, life areas. Use this transit as an opportunity to fine tune um, you know your exercise and hygiene routines and establish healthier habits that benefit you know your psychological emotional and physical spiritual health in the long run so yeah that's the end of this special for the sun in virgo from the 17th of september to the 16th of october take care and see you next time